there were no women in sports journalism uh, in the mid-60s. And in fact, even into the 70s, and in fact, the first woman journalist who I ever encountered was a woman who was working part-time for a radio station uh, in this market. And she wanted to be in that locker room for the reasons that were described in that play. And Billy Martin let her in there. I'm not going to mention her name. And this was in 1975, and she came along, and they and they let her in the in the clubhouse, and in fact, and she was in, uh, and she was uh, certainly happy with that situation. And one night, uh, four or five of them uh, took her back in the shower and gang banged her. Uh, and then, as the, then later on, and there was a lot of contempt by print media journalists for the broadcast journalists, the TV journalists. We call them talking dogs. And then, and then all of a sudden, a few talking dolls arrived too. But uh, but even as recently as 1980, uh, women in print journalism were simply there for a token purpose. They weren't worth a damn, and they still aren't. With the exception of Dan Jenkins' daughter Sally, and there was a a young woman at the Morning News when I was there, not as a sports writer, named Sally Wilson. Uh, the rest of them are there simply for uh, purposes of uh, you got to have a woman, you know, on the staff. Uh, and they're all dreadful, I think. I mean, they, you know, some of them are purposeful, you know, and then they put, but uh, they just don't have the knack. Women shouldn't be writing sports. My name is Jasmine Sadry, and I'm a sports anchor for CBS Radio Dallas 105.3 The Fan. I've been in the sports realm, so to speak, for about 11 years now.